hello, hello to whoever joined. Okay, let's see. I, I literally tried going live to see if it works or not. Okay, now we are live, right? We're live. It's working. I was like literally logged in earlier thinking we were live, but I guess we weren't. But since nobody joined yet, let's do our little thumbnail. <laughs> Here we go, I think. We're like this. That's a cute thumbnail too. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully people will join. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let me grab my um, uh, my stuff. Actually, I'm just gonna grab this. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know how long we'll stay on this side, just because it's cold. Like, because the weather is not just so nice anymore, if there's no sun, maybe we should plug this in. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's working. Yeah, are we live, Tess? One, two. Oh, live. I mean, is the mic working? Is really what I meant. Now, let me send out the notification because that's what I meant to do. When I went to grab my iPad, did you guys miss me? I did not stream on Monday, Tuesday, so today's my very first day streaming. Um, Feliz Miércoles to everyone, right? Oh, the thing will show afterwards. Talking to myself right now, but... Okay, copy. Let's see. Let me get this to work. There we go. Okay, the notification was sent out. The notification didn't go off for YouTube. I find it so strange. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that's that. Then who do we have here? Udes, Essing, Verma, Shanab, Eduardo Rocha, Stevo. <laughs> that was a funny one. Bilal, Naraj, Stanley, Shaban. It's Shaban Shanab. Uh, I guess you are new here. I've got some new viewers on. It's always very exciting. We've got some new viewers on my stream. Welcome back. How's everyone? How was everyone's weekend slash beginning week? I always stream on Mondays. And this Monday, I actually had like an appointment to attend. And so it was like in mid-afternoon, so it didn't allow me to stream. And then Tuesday, I was going to stream. And then I got a phone call. And by the time I looked at the time, it was kind of like, Latish, and so I just decided uh, that I was going to stream, and it was raining yesterday. Today the weather is nice, so even better for the pool. Um, who else we have? Yusuf, you're new as well. I don't think I've seen you in the past. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to do. I literally went live, but I think it didn't work, so I went offline and I went live again. Uh, but I wanted to do a thumbnail, more like you know. How's the lighting here? Is the lighting fine? We're going to be moving soon because it's very cold on this section. And am I live on? Uh... Okay, yeah, I am live. Angel in the game. I think that was from last week. If anyone joined me on kick. Hi, how are you? Don't be shy. Write me a little something, something. Um, I don't like when people just stand and, you know, and are quiet. Uh, I look scrumptious. <laughs> well, thank you. Hey, the notification just went out for YouTube, actually. Uh, I appreciate it. What was I going to say? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Joseph, how are you doing? Um, and... Yeah, we have so much to talk about. There's been so much going on um that i wanted to talk to you guys about so i was like really excited to stream i was like please pretty please the weather is going to be nice and so it was in my favor so the weather is it's not like summer weather so like 9 10 a.m it's very cold outside i actually brought um 
thigh high stockings. I brought uh, a sweater just in case it gets chilly. But I feel like if you're when you're under the sun, it's totally fine. But when you're in the shade, like this area here is mostly in the shade. That's when it gets a little bit more on the chilly cold side. But we are still going to apply sun, sun sunshine. We're still going <laughs> to apply sun lotion. Sun lotion can even say that sunscreen all over my body. Jose, sunny, how are you? Um, Mikda, do some yoga. Actually, I was doing yoga earlier, and we'll see how the video turned out. And if it did turn out good, then I'm definitely going to be posting it. There was a dude while I was working out. He comes and just stands in front of me and goes like, can I go? And like, it bothers me when there's like two ways of going around. He could have literally went around the other way, but he insisted on going around where I was filming. So I had to stop, and I was like, I was filming, sure. And then while I was filming, he walked around to leave. And I got really pissed off because I was like, ah, like I don't want to have to refilm it a second time. So we'll see how the video turned out, even though he was in it. Flippity flaw, why is 80% of the chat emotes? How are you? I don't know. I guess people love to express themselves with emotes. Um, Pinar, hello, hello to you. Tulusin, said Tulusin, Tulusin. I think I said that properly. Why are you laughing? Are you laughing at me or are you laughing at my story? Let me grab my Loshi Loshi and then we're going to move around chat. We're not going to stay here because it is really, really cold. I got to stay under the sun if I want to. I don't know what you guys are rating. This is my sunscreen that I usually use. What do you guys use in terms of, do you, does anyone actually use sunscreen? And if you do, what kind of sunscreen do you use? Oh, the butt area is like my back is the area get, that gets like uh, tanned the quickest because I'm always like standing up so it's always my back that just tans and I protect my friend <laughs> so like my skin tone's uneven on both ends bumblebee oh do you see the bumblebee don't move <laughs> holy schmoly get some on my bikini lines because this area burns the fastest Ugh, my hair is in the way. There we go. Oh, we forgot our backpack. Oh, yeah. Uh, make sure you get... <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Um, Elia, you made a chat. We're going to go on, like, the other side because, honestly, it's really cold here. Should we do a thumbnail pic before we leave? Should, should I do one like this or like this? <laughs> this? There's something in the way. Like, people are sending me notifications on my phone, so it's covering my... <laughs> okay i think we're good I'm trying to figure out something as a thumbnail okay we're going on the other side okay okay because it's so cold i'm gonna freeze if i stay here watch me go here and complain in two minutes that it's um that it's too cold we're gonna remove the mat though 
because I was doing yoga earlier and I was filming my yoga sesh. Okay, so we're gonna move the mat. We're gonna put my towel. Oh no, Chad, I forgot to change my top. That's not supposed to be the top that goes with these bottoms. Chad, we're gonna switch around, okay? I just remembered, we gotta switch it around. <laughs> oh geez, for those of you who go like crazy over my titles, don't like, I don't know why people like have, okay, so first of all, I don't know what my title is today because I completely forgot to change it. Secondly, don't go too crazy or overthink titles that I put. This is, it's not the end of the world. Don't get too traumatic. I feel like sometimes some people write like, a party consists of more than one person. Is it really a party? I'm like, wow, you took time out of your day to write that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what my title is. I'm going to switch it around later. But either way, it is still a party for me. It's a party because I've got my viewers on. And we're going to change my top chat. This is not supposed to be the top that goes with these bottoms. I was filming earlier, so that's why I have this top on. Um, I think someone can answer you. What is my ethnicity? Can someone answer him? I feel like at this point, everyone knows. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll just do it off the camera. Give me a sec. This matches more. Uh, there we go. Much better. Yes, Elliot. Yeah, it was someone on Kick that was asking, so I figured someone on Kick would answer him. But nobody did. But I am Persian. Okay, there we go. This is better, right, Chad? I don't know, this goes with this top. This top goes with these bottoms. Better. I feel like it is, right? Anywho. <laughs> um, buenos dias, hermoso. Como estas? Plus big me, plus big me, I think. Uh, Scotty Collins and Joas Fabosa. You both are new here. Rahul, nice to see you again. Uh, Berend Pine Pienar. I think it's Pienar or something. And SPF already brown, but this seems better for the skin. Yes, you know what? Uh, I don't know what was the SPF. Did you see the bottle that I was showing? I don't know if it was 30 or 50. To be honest with you, I'm never under the sun. Every time I stream, I always try to stream under the shade. But once, you know, summer's over, which technically it's not yet, but it really is, the floor is so cold, and if there's no sun, you're freezing outside. Like in the so I, it leaves me no choice but to try to stay under the sun. Um, Erkan Denise, how are you, civilian? Sound is weird. Oh, <laughs> sound is weird because where's my mic? Oh, that I lost my mic. What's oh, my mic? What did I do? I had it on like just now. What did I do with it? It was on this bikini. Where did it go? I lost it. That's why the sound is weird. Where is my mic? Seriously. I'm telling you guys, I'm a ding dong. I lose everything. So it's very normal for me not to know what I just did with my mic. Did I like drop it? No, this is not happening to me right now. This can be happening. I literally had it just now. Can someone like rewind the video and see what happened to my mic? I'm not even kidding, I lost it. <laughs> I just had it with me. Why do I lose everything? Seriously, what happened to my mic? Oh, I got it. <laughs> Oh, jeez, Louise. 
Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh. Good now? Yeah, I think we're good, right? <laughs> I think so. Oh, I almost had a heart attack. I always lose everything. Thank God you told me. I changed my top and I put the mic on the towel, but I didn't realize where I had put it. So I was literally having a conversation on my own. I don't even remember what I was saying, but I was having a conversation on my own. Thank God someone told me there's something wrong. It was Mr. Misad <laughs> that told me something was wrong. Oh, it's happening. It's and no, I I removed the, the the thing, the attachment to the mic so that you guys can hear me. But I found my mic. We're good now. And when the sound is the loudest, me you're close. <laughs> um, let me just fix this too. Thank you, thank you, Daniel. Lovely to see you again. Bonsoir, ça va, Akram? Oui, merci et toi. Uh, Ranas, good to know. Wait, I found it, but. <laughs> I had it on my top, but this happens to me all the time. Like one thing you should know about me is that I lose and forget everything. And so it's very normal for me to lose stuff. And I was freaking out because this is like at least my like sixth mic that I bought. And so, yeah. Okay. There we go. Anyways, it was not on my top. It was on my towel. But I was little. I, what I was telling you guys is, can you rewind? Can someone rewind the video and see where I did what I did with my mic? But I guess you guys didn't hear me because the other part of the mic was on. Anywho, let's see what's happening in. <laughs> really, I think I deserve some subscriptions. How about that? One sub for a three sixty. I'll do. I'll do two three sixties for one sub. How about that? Um, oh, you did rewind, Elia, but you weren't able to see it, were you? Uh, someone wrote something, I believe, in Russian or Greek, but I can't understand because I can't read it. Uh, the sound is a little better with a mic a little further from you, actually. You know what? It's, yeah, it's you're going to have to lower your volume. <laughs> the mic is, like, super close to me, and so I always forget that I should speak a little lower. But if you do lower your volume, you won't feel as loud um because i mean i can't put it here if i put it here it's too far so i really don't have a choice but to put the uh, clip it right here i wasn't able to find it i figured pascal aboulikam ça va merci i think I, you, you did write something earlier oh no that was akram um tu, uh, tu viens de france en passe tu habites à france c'est vraiment ça la question um yeah, once I get a sub. Wait, Chad, I wanted to talk to you guys about a, a lot of things that's been um, happening. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts on Halle Berry? First of all, I didn't know that there was... It's I guess it's not beef because she didn't turn it into that. But there was this huge conversation. Well, I guess what happened is that Drake's new album... For the dogs or the dogs like i don't even know what the title of his album is um reach out to halle berry to use um or actually use or ask for permission to use the photo of her getting slimed i think it's from like 10 years ago or whatnot i don't even know if it was during the mtv awards or whatnot and so she had said no i'm not giving you the permission but he still went ahead and used that as his cover album or whatnot and she wrote a quote like on her Instagram page saying sometimes you got to be the bigger guy and just walk away. And then she also said it just sucks when someone you admire. I did not know that Halle Berry admired Drake. I mean, I feel like that's like very strong words right there. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, she, she did write it just sucks when someone you admire kind of goes against um, what you requested and still uses the photograph of something that you had not given permission. I don't know if she can like sue him or whatnot, but like the story was left as, as, as of that. And then Drake never kind of talked about it since the whole situation happened. Erkan Jalik, Shashkan Mishra, good morning to you. Drizzy, ah, oh, tu habites à Strasbourg? Comment est la température là-bas présentement? Oh, wait, and I got a James Sutherland, how are you? Mendel, hello, hello. 
Blackjack, I remember you. It's been a long time I haven't seen you on here. You, <laughs> Anywho, uh, thank you for the subscription, BJ. <laughs> and for that, we will give a 360. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. First subscription of the day still makes me happy. Uh, I hope you're doing wonderful, BJ. It's been a while. I haven't seen you on here. How's uh, what's new with you? How's life? Move this out of the way. Okay. Uh, are you busy? Well, I'm glad that you're keeping busy. Do you go to school, by the way, or you don't? Just curious to know now. If you don't go to school, then hopefully you've been busy with work, but in a good way. Um, yeah. Uh, I am back. I was very busy. <laughs> Flippity, I don't want to know that you were pooping. Oh, so, but what is that supposed to mean? Meaning like you don't go to school? Because, you know, I, when, I used, when I was attending university, like there were, there were students in my class that were like maybe like 40, 50, whatnot. So like I get it that usually you finish, but some people return back to school or uni in their 30s or 40s or 50s. Hence, you know, the reason why I ask. Uh, Mendel, you're new as well here. And James Sutherland, you are new as well. By the way, Chad, can someone kindly, I don't know what's going on with my Kick app, but it's been like a week I'm trying to sign in through the app on my phone and it's not allowing me. So every time I come to write, um, see, every time I come to write something in my own chat box, it kind of says sign in, which is really annoying. So if you could please uh, share my YouTube handle, if you could just put YouTube, like um, exclamation mark YouTube, so that people know that I'm also multi-streaming on different platforms. Uh, Blondu Nello 2. How are you? Naeem Bati, Toronto Sid. How are you? Been a while. Haven't seen you on here. Na Naeem, I don't know what BLS good means. Thank you, King Hoagie. That was really sweet of you. I appreciate it. I finished up, but uh, sure, study has no age, right? Uh, who here is studious? Like, who here enjoyed going to school? Who here enjoys going to school at the moment if you're still taking classes? And who here is like not looking forward to fall because it's like your first semester back and you're like, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Although I would never attend my classes. I was never that girl that would go in and just be like nerdy and study everything. I was always that girl that would go into the first class, find a guy and I'd be like, here's my number. I need you to take notes down. I'm going to contact you. We're going to get together and then we're going to like, you know, study together. You're going to teach me everything so that I can attend the class and do my exam and do well, right? I used to do that all the time. <laughs> First day of class was like Sahar going hunting with her boots on. <laughs> um, was always the kind of girl that bullied the nerds. Actually, I was that sweet girl that would never bully the nerds. I was like the nerds' friends, and I actually was friends with them. Like, I'm a good person. I, I hate people who bully people, so I would never do that. But I would always walk in and just be like, Hi, my name is Sahari. Can I get your number? We're going to exchange numbers and then you're going to teach me everything. Okay. And they'd be like, oh, okay. And yeah, I'd meet with them, but I was never, I would never bully anyone, especially not nerds. They're smart. They helped me pass. Um, just for you. Yeah, Toronto, I wish I did. No, they're not custom made. They are extra smalls. Although this is a small because this does not come in extra small. I do not make them custom made. Although I would love to, if I knew how to sew, like I would purchase my own fabric and I would make it make my own bikinis to be honest with you uh those requests can be on fancy fans Naraj, Rai. you like it thank you Jason Stewart how was your weekend I see you writing me a little comment chat again my video got restricted like my yoga video like it's becoming really annoying how youtube keeps restricting my videos for no reason and then it messes up my algorithm and my views because then it's like it lacks for like five hours and then they bring it back and it just messes up everything i'm kind of like really upset about that because it's the third time it happens it happened twice on the other video like the latest video that i posted 6077 mi amor como estas um, DJ, how are you? 
Jody, hello, hello. Francisco Pereira, mi amor, ¿cómo estás? Feliz miércoles. Uh, wait, why are you upset, Flippity? What happened to you? Was that looking like a snack, like a sweet snack or a spicy kind? Uh, or sour? <laughs> I guess it depends on your preference. Niraj, thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Un chignon et les triangles du haut un peu plus sur les côtés serait top. Les triangles du haut un peu plus sur les côtés? Non, je les préfère mieux plus comme avancer, <laughs> je te dirais. Mais là, je me vois même pas à cause du soleil. Um, mais il fait froid aujourd'hui, donc il faut que je reste en, en dessous du soleil pour que j'ai pas des frissons. Sinon, je vais geler. I can't see my forehead. Wait, why? Why can't you see your forehead? Um, Ray of sun, always also bad. I love all my... <laughs> uh, Larone Abram, you are new here. Hello, my love. How are you? I try to, as you guys engage with me, I try to, like, remember all your usernames. Well, usernames, I guess your handles, your name handles. And I do know that you were uh, new because I don't ever recall chatting with you. How did your video... I don't know. That's the thing. I would love to know. I feel like someone's haunting me from Twitch. I'm not even kidding. I got, I got it like twice. Even the stream I did on Friday is also restricted, which I don't know why. Um, and then once it restricts, like you, you don't get views, so you don't get engagement and then you don't get subscribers. So that's like really, really sucks. Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. It's happened four times since last week. Uh, but you can notice, actually, Daniel was, apparently there's a way you guys would see, like, if you go and watch one of my VODs, like, it'll show. Th th there'll be, like, a sign. Uh, oh, I mean, I am hunting you ever since. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I know. I'm pretty sure it's not. I know it's not you, but I don't know. I would love to know who it is that's, like, haunting me and doesn't leave me alone. Um... Just subscribe your uh, fans also. Wait, I don't know what that means, subscribe your fans. Um, voy ver este video un y otra vez. Thank you. I actually filmed a bikini yoga video just earlier. I have no idea how it turned out because of the sun. I couldn't see what I was doing. I'm just hoping that it turned out decent so that i could post it that's like the challenge of filming outdoors you can't see what you're filming you don't even see if you're like angled properly in front of the camera until you go home and then watch it on your laptop with lighting and then you're like oh my god what did i do half the carpet half the mat like half your leg is missing or something uh oh really it, I, this used to never happen to me, though, 60, 77. So it's, like, fairly recent. Uh, no, Jason, I did not because I said I just filmed it and I have no idea if my full body is in it. Like, I, I don't even know because it's very sunny. So I just kind of, like, filmed it blindsided. And we'll see how it turned out. If it turned out good, I'll post it. If it didn't, then I won't post it. Um, thank you, thank you. Thank you. What's up? I swear every live you look a little. Oh, I appreciate that. Thanks. Um, 67, I didn't think it is, but now you're getting me worried after what you just said. Hey, chat, we could do, you know, those squats you do where like you hold on to the barbell and then you go like down, but you put like a, you put like a bench right behind you so you're kind of like sitting down but not really it kind of hurts because this is wet and it's like scratching my skin so it doesn't feel really comfortable um i was going to say something the other conversation that we're gonna have is um um oh yeah it's so funny because last week I kept talking about the new iPhone uh, that's going to be launching, the iPhone 15, and I kept asking everyone, like, did you guys buy the new iPhone? Are you guys uh, going to purchase it? Nobody said anything, and I thought the phone was launching on September 15th, and I was totally wrong because the phone is launching on September 20th, which I believe is today. 
So I think today is the first official day where you can purchase the phone. From what Apple had said, uh, or like uh, the people that do work at Apple, they said that the iPhone 15 is going to be considered the best game console out there. And I was like, mm, I mean, I don't know. There's like PS5 and PlayStation. Why would want? Why would someone want to use their iPhone as a console? Like, I don't know because I don't really necessarily play video games, but do you guys sometimes, or maybe not sometimes, because I'm sure sometimes you might play on your phone if you're out and about and you're trying to kill time, but do you ever use your, like, do you play on your phone rather than on your PC? I'm curious to know. Don't buy iPhone? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm definitely uh, an iPhone kind of gal. <laughs> definitely no Android for me. My devices are all Apple and my family mostly and friends have like Apple devices. So it's just easier for communication purposes through iMessage and FaceTime. That's why I like iPhones. No, Raheem, because I just got the iPhone 13 last year and I bought mine up full price. In Canada, phones are pricier. Like I think I paid like 1800 something, like close to 2000 for my phone, but my battery's dying really quickly. So I'm going to change it. But if I do change it, I'm going to get the iPhone 14, not the iPhone 15. I don't think I'm going to get the iPhone 15. There are a lot of people who are like the iPhone is, it keeps being the same thing. You know, it's like, there's like the changes are so little that it's not even like, you know, worth purchasing for an upgrade because it's not necessarily an upgrade. I mean, I don't know. The iPhone 12 was discontinued and was replaced by the iPhone 13. And the camera on the iPhone 12 was exactly the same as the iPhone 13 amongst everything else. That's why like they discontinued and came out with a 13. And then I noticed that like the iPhone 13 doesn't even have like a great camera. I don't know. Maybe the 14 is a little better. I don't know compared to the 15 how good it is. But I was just curious to know if anyone's purchasing it. Udes, thank you. Uh, iPhone is a spy phone. I feel like every phone is a spy phone. Chat, I kid you guys not. Every time I have a stream and we're talking about things, the minute I go offline and I leave and when I go on my phone, whether it be like Instagram or whatnot, like my phone literally pops up everything that I've discussed during my live stream. <laughs> it's kind of scary, actually. Last time it was who? It was Tucker Carlson. Remember, I was like, I don't know who he is. And then he showed up on every single like platform of mine, Twitter. He showed up on everything. I was like, holy schmoly. Sorry, I'm trying to, um... ah, shoot. So this is not even charging. So that's fantastic. It wasn't even charging. Okay, there we go. Holy schmoly macaroni. Actually, maybe because when we sit down, this is wet. It was raining yesterday. It was raining a lot, actually. Now we got to remember which side we're putting this on. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, I'm not even drunk. <laughs> I almost fell. That was funny. Um... Boa tarde, Elias Angelos. Angelos or Angelos? I'm not even sure. Um, Roberto, I don't know what to say to them. Uh, Toronto, how's the weather in Toronto? Nice and beautiful and sunny. Are, are the, is the weather cooler in the mornings now? Um, wait. Okay, now I could see. Aquilini, September 22nd, Friday's first day it's available. Oh, I don't know why I thought it was September 20th. Are you purchasing it? Uh, 922, thank you. The iPhone 14 and 15 are almost the same. Well, I'm glad that you told me this because, yeah, I'm probably going to switch my phone for 14. So I'm glad that you told me this so I don't feel like you can replace the battery on your current iPhone. I could, but I don't take care of my phone. And the, the day I purchased it, I smashed it on the floor and I like scratched my screen. And then a month in, I scratched my screen some more. And then a month in, like my screen is like really scratched and scuffed up, um, you know, even though it's like a year old. So I feel like I just might as well just change, like sell this one and then change, uh, buy the new one rather than just replace the screen. Game Station, hello. 
Um, what else was going on on the news? We were talking about Tucker Carlson. Yeah, I didn't remember who he was. Anyway, I didn't remember his name. But then when I saw his face, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who he is. Apparently, speaking of him, his interview with Trump got like 265 million views versus his interviews on Fox News. I guess he did get a lot of clicks uh, because of that interview that he had. And I don't know. I guess it's good for his platform and recognition wise. Um. Do you guys know, uh, what's the thing called the Sag Saga, AFTRA? The thing, in, uh, you know how the writers in Hollywood are on strike right now? They've been on strike, I think, since like July. It's been an ongoing thing, a conversation, because, you know, it's affecting a lot of people financially, and some want to go back to work. Like Drew Barrymore has a show, and he's she's a host, and she wanted her talk show to go back, and she received amount of backlash because people were like you know how dare you go back when you know we're trying to fight for our rights of getting um you know uh fair pay for the amount of time that we put writing these scripts and without us there wouldn't be a show and whatnot so she kind of like backed down on her decision of going uh, back um live and she decided to like wait but do you guys have any update on what's going on with the writer's strike in hollywood or do you even care Thought I'd just ask. Hey, to whoever joined me on YouTube, by the way, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, you know, write me a little comment. Also, make sure to check the rest of my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter. They're free to follow. Um, I would really appreciate if you can support me and help me grow my community. Uh, I did forget to attach my... Um, my link tree to my YouTube channel because I tend to do that all the time when I go live. I just kind of like pin it and I forget to do that. So we're going to do that now. There we go. And then we're just going to pin it. There we go. No, it didn't work. There we go. I pinned my link tree. You guys can click on it. Um, J King, hello. Just make sure you don't spam too much peaches. Hello from Moscow. Dimon, Dimoon. Is it Dimoon or Dimoon? Am I pronouncing your name correctly? How's the weather in Moscow? Same deal with UAW auto worker strike. Gotta pay these people and not uh, the already rich. Well, with the right, I, I didn't know that there was actually a strike going on with auto workers, but in terms of like the writer's strike, a lot of actors and actresses have kind of, you know, um, supported the writer's strike. And like Adam Sandler, he was seen like walking, you know, with uh, people on the streets. Um, and a lot of people are like, it's these big streaming platforms like Hulu, Netflix, Disney. They're the ones who make the most money. And then the writers who are actually writing the scripts are the ones who get the least amount of money and they don't get any royalties. So once the series is on Netflix, regardless how many times the viewers are watching it, they make like nothing. Actually, I found out Breaking Bad is the same thing. The guy, what's his name? Um, I can't remember his name. The dude uh, from Breaking Bad was also saying how he doesn't make royalty off his uh, series that is on netflix so regardless of how many times you watch it like i think the only tv show that actually makes royalties back in the days was friends it was so famous and popular to this day when you watch friends the actresses and the actors are still making i think like a two three four or five percent royalty a superhero you mean a superhero roberto yeah i was thinking of wearing my um spider woman bodysuit maybe uh, i'm gonna wear it to do a yoga video and then maybe i could wear it once live on stream i was thinking of doing that um philip die champ t they say i look like him you look like who the guy from breaking bad uh carlos vargas saludos Para ti? Is it para tu or para ti? Uh, I think I answer everyone. Oh, thank you, Flippity. I appreciate them. 
We can actually pin my link tree, but it's fine because it shows up a lot on um, on Kick. And Nico, hello, hello to you. Um, thank you, Game Station. Um, you love Friends. I did too. Were you like watching Friends regularly uh, before when it was like when you know? I mean, I, I is it still on TV or is it just like on Netflix that you could watch it? I don't even know, but Netflix was um, Netflix. Friends was classic. Yeah, the younger kid, but what's his name? I was, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I can't remember his name. You look like Enre Enrique Iglesias. I loved Enrique Iglesias' music, actually. Uh, Enrique Iglesias hasn't been out and about in a very long time, right? I feel like he's just... Uh, he hasn't produced any new music, no new album, nothing. Like, you don't see him anywhere, actually. Hola, amor, besos para ti, Carlos. Uh, Ali Marcus Ford, hello to you. Miguel Amayo, hola, bonito, besos para ti. We can call him Cham T. No, I want to know what his real name was. Chad, does anyone remember what the actor's name is? Jesse, Jesse Pinkman. There we go, I got it. That was his... Uh, character name on the show jesse pinkman now i remember see i'm good i remember i used to watch it regularly couldn't survive without it on netflix <laughs> that's so funny because i was also a big uh friends fan i would love to see you dressed as a you told me this already chat we're gonna sit down because i don't like standing up for too long i get tired okay. oh Ugh. There we go. Oh, am I too close or is it fine? I feel like my head is missing. Okay, I think this is better. Um, did I answer someone here too? Uh, thank you, Roberto. Me muero ese beso. I think I answered that too. Um, Jose, where have you been, by the way? I haven't seen you on my stream in like such a long time. It's nice to see you back. Are you going to be a regular or are you going to leave again soon? Uh, <laughs> you love seeing me dressed in a bikini is what you're saying, right? um chat since i did not stream on monday tuesday this week how was everyone's weekend did you guys do anything fun or exciting did you go anywhere i had a good sunday i didn't have so much of a good saturday i was sad i was crying <laughs> sadita was crying i was just crying because i was sad i don't know i tend to cry sometimes just because i am sad um if i like catwoman yes i do love catwoman i feel like the costume catwoman costume is very sexy and so yeah i do like it uh, didn't Halle Berry play Catwoman in an older movie, if I remember correctly? Oh, thank you, Game Station. And I think I answered this. Pool party and gold club. <laughs> Wait, are you going to a pool party or are you talking about my title? Ah. Uh, Daniel Hernandez, disfruto tu presencia. ¿Qué se, qué, co, ¿Qué se disfruto? I don't know what that means. Uh, that's what we, oh no, that's what we did this weekend. Oh, that's what you did this weekend, pool party and gold club. Oh, isn't that fun? Did you enjoy yourself? To see my mom and sister. Jason, I hope your mom and sister are okay. Uh, if that's the case, if that's where you're going, sending positive vibes their way. Um, not, not, nothing Gim UK. Michael, I remember you last week. You were on my stream as well. No, I did not watch Messi, although I did watch a, a clip of him. I think he was like at Whole Foods in Miami or whatnot with his wife and kids grocery shopping. And then people began to notice him. I was surprised that he wasn't there with a bodyguard, but... People begin to like recognize him. And so like at the cash, someone asked him to take a picture and he kind of was like annoyed and he took a picture and he asked his wife for the keys because he wanted to go in the car and hide. I'm like, I don't know, like 
How is that when you're a celebrity and people just want to take pictures with you? Me, it's like if I see one, I don't necessarily ask for a picture. More, it's like, hey, how are you? You know, like talking, but yeah. Um, very professional stream where you agree. Who are you free after stream? Can we have coffee? Game station. If you know me by now, which you should because you have joined a lot of my streams, um, definitely I'm more of a matcha gal than a coffee gal. <laughs> I'm trying to get more centered. There we go. Are we more centered now? Anyway, I prefer matcha over coffee. So if you're going to ask me for something, it's going to have to be matcha. And we're not even in the same city at the moment. Uh, Marcelo Aprecido, you're from Brazil. I have so many viewers from Brazil. Thank you for joining. And then who else do we have here? Is there more? Is it just that? Sebastiago Sarameda Luis. I'm not really sure what the question is. Uh, Sergio Rodriguez, I did say hi. Simple thing. How are you? Thank you, Danielle. DJs, DJs, DJs. I think I said that properly. I was just trying my luck, but I'll never forget it. <laughs> you can forget. Um, what, what else was going on? Nobody talked about the Drake thing that I mentioned with Halle Berry. Nobody really cared. Did you guys hear about it? Um... Uh, oh yes, I saw somewhere there was like this Danish artist who sold to a museum a uh, blank canvas for like, I think 27 mil or 72 mil. I can't remember. And then the museum asked for their money back. So like the judge uh, ordered him to return the money but to keep some for expensive. First of all, I thought it was genius. Second of all, I think it's so funny. Third of all, did the museum not agree to the portrait and painting that we're receiving? Like, I'm confused. He literally sent them like a blind canvas. So like, it was white. It was like, basically there was no painting. And, <laughs> and there was a picture of it actually mounted on the wall at the museum, which I thought was crazy as well. So it's like, what, they mounted on the wall? guests were walking in they saw this blind canvas and then they thought about it and they're like you know what we don't want this anymore give our money back like i, I was did anyone hear about it um the, he titled it something i can't remember what he had titled it oh yeah he had titled it um wait yeah it was take the money and run <laughs> which is technically what he did he took the money and he ran but then he had to like return it um what happened to Halle berry wait you didn't hear about like the cover of drake's album i don't know if it's the cover because his son drew like the dogs uh drawing and i think that was his cover but he you he called in Halle berry and asked if he could use uh, a picture of her remember when she got slimed on and um Halle Berry basically said no I don't want you to use it and he still went against her will and still used it for his album so she was really upset about it because she was like sometimes you just have to be the bigger guy and walk away even though it's someone that you admired but he never really publicly apologized and I don't know if he privately did which I don't think he did but like he hasn't really addressed the situation ever since she came out and kind of commented about it uh black is your favorite color Akeem uh michael i did address you as well thank you marcelo aparecido i like that name marcelo aparecido um oh yeah Katy perry sold her catalog for 225 mil i don't know what's going on with artists nowadays but everyone is like not everyone but there's a lot of artists coming out selling their catalogs for millions of dollars i don't know if it's because they know something's coming with AI. I don't know if it's like going to take over like the music industry or whatnot, but um, a lot of like, how much did Justin Bieber sell his? I think Justin Bieber sold his for way less than what Katy Perry did. She sold her for like 225 mil. Um, what the hell? Why isn't my chat box working on kick again? Can't see him. Okay, there we go. Now I can see your messages. Did anyone write something? Uh, currently, 
Jeez. I am Bollywood fan. No idea about international artists. Wait, you don't listen to international? Well, you don't listen to Drake or like, I guess that's pretty mainstream. Those artists are pretty mainstream. The music plays on the radio as well. Jose, no problem. You're my fan. Thank you. Why is Roberto so angry? Wait. <laughs> Roberto is using caps to like write. So that's why you're saying he's angry. I don't know. <laughs> Roberto, are you angry? Marshmallow. Oh no, your name is Marshall. I don't know why, but I thought your name was Marshmallow. <laughs> Marshall Rowley. Hello, hello to you. Um, be not no, because I just sat down, so I'm not going to stand up again, but I will once I get tired of sitting down and my legs get numb. Uh, the weather, I was mentioning how, you know, summer's over here, wherever, I, like my city where I am, summer's over, but the beauty of it all is that even though it's like not humid or hot, it's like cool and windy, as long as there's sun on you, it's, it's fine, the weather. So because I'm under the sun, it's okay. Like tomorrow is supposed to be sunny and a Friday is supposed to be sunny. So I'm kind of like excited about that. And then we're getting two days of sun next week. And then I think it's going to really, really cool off. But if it's like cloudy, then it's like you would freeze outside. But since it's sunny, it's good. I'm like literally, hence the reason why I'm sitting under the sun right now. Because or else I'd be cold if I go over there. Is a good name, Marshmallow? No, his name is Marshall. I don't know why. I just thought Marshall Rowley. Thank you, thank you. How are you? It's been busy working. Like always, I've been busy working a lot. I hope that's a good thing. I hope you enjoy working a lot. I feel like for everyone, when you work a lot, like your days go by faster. Ooh, right? When you're working and you're keeping busy, I feel like your days go by so much faster. Akib, I'm wearing black bikini. How could you not see the color? Uh, Carlos Vargas. You can go on Fancy Fans for that, you know. Click on my link tree if you want additional uh, requests. Um, here I get up when I feel like getting up. Uh, thank you. That's what I am. Thank you, Strider. You're new here, by the way. Hey, how did I click on my Amazon wish list? I don't know. I clicked on something. Game Station, see you later. Bye bye. Have a great day. What was I going to uh, talk about? Oh, yeah, I was talking about Katy Perry. Does anyone know how much Justin Bieber sold his catalog for? Nobody really answered me. I'm curious to know do you guys pay attention when I talk? Or can I just ask this question like a hundred times the same question? You guys won't even realize. That I'm like repeating myself. Uh, Carlos ain't much to that building. To <laughs> uh, I will be. I will start also posting a little bit more on Twitter. I would say. Thank you. <laughs> Simple things. That one was for Game Station. Who bounced? Actually, he left. Um, I'm a Twitch OG follower. Strider, are you? Um, yes, your name kind of, your name tells me something. Um, but I haven't seen you on here on YouTube in like a very long time. Actually, I'm getting my Twitch channel back, chat. I'm getting my Twitch channel back in like two weeks. Can you believe it? I stopped streaming for six months on Twitch because of the ban. So I'm getting my channel back, but my focus is still going to be YouTube and kick. And so if I do stream on Twitch, it's going to be really like once a week just for exposure. Cause a lot of that viewership that's on Twitch is not necessarily on kick, um, and whatnot, but yeah, definitely not planning on streaming there more than once a week. Uh, I'll see Mario. Hello. Hello. For reals flippity. Did you really give me your username? I'll follow you if you really did. I think it was for 185 mil he sold his for. Oh, Jason, so he got screwed over. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, Katy Perry had a lot of number ones. I think her album called Teenage Dream had, like, a lot of number ones. But, I mean, she sold hers for 228 mil. So, like, yeah, he's probably going, like, oh, darn, I should have. Um, I'm Flippity Flop on Twitch. No, for real, Flippity, are you really streaming now on Twitch? Kamba Singh, thank you, thank you. 
200 mil, so I was close. Uh, well, he's still short, so I guess he's like kind of like going like Doran. She sold hers for more than I did. He had a lot of number ones as well, hence the reason I'm saying this. Uh, but yeah, are you planning a micro bikini haul? Thank you, Stu Wins Official. If you'd like to send me a few micro bikini uh, my way, then I for sure will do a try on haul for you. Thank you, Binod. Raheem, you wrote something, but I didn't get the chance to read it and you retracted it. So I don't know what it is that you wrote. Uh, Oh yeah, who watched, um, you remember we had this conversation about artists now, uh, a lot of, um, you know, fans that attend these concerts, uh, it's like a trend now. I noticed a lot of people do that at Alesso's, um, you know, when he's playing and spinning in Vegas or whatnot, but I noticed a lot of people doing this with Drake as well, and I think it's gonna become like a, a thing where certain people will like purchase tickets to go to watch their fans perform. And this girl, I don't know what her sign said. I think she was like, I used my money to buy a ticket or whatnot. Um, and yeah, he gifted her a Chanel bag. Last time he gifted someone an Hermes bag and once someone was holding a sign um, that was written, like I used up my furniture money to uh, purchase these tickets to come to your show instead of buying furniture or whatnot. And then a Drake gifted him like ten thousand uh, dollars worth of money that he could use to go buy, purchase his furniture. Uh, I answer every question. I do. I try to address everyone as best as I can. And Game Station, I did give you a goodbye kiss. I don't even know if you're still on. Robert Boo Shadid, how are you, Robert? Welcome. You're new to my channel. Did you just join or? Are you a subscriber or returning subscriber? Army man, nice to see you. Long time no see. How's life been treating you? Thank you, Roberto. It's a reported Taylor Swift dating Travis Kelsey Chiefs. Yes, I saw that as well, Raheem. I don't know who he is, but I recognize the name that you wrote. Um, I saw that on, uh, I don't know, where did I see that? I think I saw it on Instagram. It's very, I don't know, off brand for her. Like I've never, has she ever dated an athlete in the past before? Uh, you love my feet, Miguel. My feet love you as well. My toes say hello. <laughs> um, where am I from? I'm Canadian, Persian roots. Patrick Kuberski, Kuberski. Hello to you. I like that last name, Kuberski. A fresh follower. Actually, you're fresh. Are you from the US? Would love to know where you're from. Taylor Swift gets around. Really? I, <laughs> well, I mean, with all the music that she produces about breakups, I guess so. But I never, she's really like a relationship kind of gal. Like you don't really see her out and about just casually dating, or at least I don't think I've seen her out and about casually dating. Um. Jason Stewart, I just wanted to see your beautiful back. Wait, oh, Jason Stewart? Wait, who are we talking about now? Uh, you know what, Carlos? You can go watch my YouTube videos and support me. I have some couple of yoga videos where you get to see my back. Uh, Pinocchio, hello, hello. Yeah, that was the thing with... Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, yes! Who here likes Keanu Reeves? I've heard that he's like one of the most humble artists and not artists, celebrities um, in Hollywood. He's, he's really a giver and he does a lot and he gives away a lot of his money for charity and whatnot. And there's been instances where he's like photographed just grabbing the subway to get around uh, if he's not on his motorcycle bike. But apparently he pushed um really hard for his character to die in john wick 4 apparently it put a toll on him after like john wick 1 and 2 he was like he kept telling the producers that he wants out like he wants his character to die because it puts a lot of toll on him both emotionally as well as physically i guess because he's so like gets into character 
and he's so good at what he does. I didn't know that. Did anybody know this about uh, Keanu Reeves? You mean her? Wait, she, she doesn't get around. Yeah, wait, what did I say, Jason? Keanu Reeves is cool, right? His personality, Sue Tullison, I agree. I've listened to a couple of his interviews and I also think the same. Roberto, my fab, my bikini says thank you. <laughs> um, and it's kind of juicy right now. <laughs> I've been working on my qualifications. Wait, what? Can, can you tell us more about your boyfriend application process? I've been working on my qualifications. I guess just be yourself and just really show you. There's really nothing. I mean, I, I'm serious though. I feel like maybe sometimes you don't know. Maybe like my future boyfriend is actually on Fancy Fans. You know, like I don't get to see your faces. So I don't really, I can't really put a name to your faces. So I'll, I'll never know who you are. But if you do share a picture of you or a snippet or whatnot, then maybe, you know, maybe I'd be like, mm, that's totally my type of guy. Uh, thank you, Juan. The last matrix was bad though. Oh my God. The last matrix said, you're not the only one who thinks this way. I fell asleep. <laughs> I went to watch it in theaters. I was so confused because I, did you watch like the sequels, like prior to going to watch the latest movie? I didn't watch the sequels. I have forgotten exactly what was going on, but it was just boring. And I was like, 20 minutes in the movie i finished eating i like ordered food i finished eating and i was just like literally my eyes were closing i was like fighting to stay awake so i didn't like it i thought it was really boning um uh naeem thank you i handle attention very well well thank you um you know what i do have add <laughs> so a majority of the times when things that I'm not interested in, I feel like I'm the most in tune and present and focused when I am live streaming. I feel like I pay attention to what everyone's writing. I try to remember your usernames. You know, I try to engage with my new viewers as well and address everyone the best that I can and juggle multiple, you know, conversations and topics at the same time. But naturally speaking, if someone's sitting next to me, it's really hard for me to pay attention and stay focused. I like my ADD makes me like drift away. My sister's always like, are you like in China? Get back to planet Earth. Where are you? She's like, I lost you. I lost you. After like two minutes of her talking to me, like, I'm like, wait, what's going on? What were we talking about? So, you know, I, I, I pride myself and still being very attentive and focused when I'm streaming. <laughs> Has yoga and vi has yoga and vivo para nos nosotros. Oh, you're saying do yoga live and vivo para nosotros with us ahora, right now. Is ahora tu voy que yo tu voy que yo um as yo yoga ahora. See, ¿sí? <laughs> I hope I said that properly. Um, Robert, you know what? The crazy thing is that because I'm outdoors, you know when your phone is locked, like the screen is blocked, I can't see myself on camera. What's going on? And so, yeah, I'm not, um, <laughs> I'm literally staring at a black screen. And thank you for not being distracted by squirrels. <laughs> hey, speaking of distraction, uh, I think it was called, uh, did anyone write something to me? Oh yeah, Anub, we want to see you dance. Um, Anub, actually I have whatever you said, but I mean, I have some yoga videos on YouTube. So if you're new to my kick channel, check out my YouTube for them. Itespeed, lovely to have you. How was your vacation? Did we speak since you got back from Greece? I think we did. I think you were on last week. I wanted to uh, talk about something. What was I talking about? I completely forgot. Oh yeah, I was talking about the fidget spinner. Did you guys know that the lady who created the fidget spinner had uh, bought a patent for her invention and creation, but then five years in, she wasn't really getting much traction and nobody was really interested in her product. And I don't know if it's because there was no interest that she decided not to renew her patent or she didn't have enough money to renew it. And so it kind of opened up the door 
for all these brands and companies to create their own fidget spinners. And ever since it's been making millions and millions of dollars while she made nothing. Doesn't that suck? Isn't that sad when someone like steals your creation, makes millions of dollars and you don't profit anything? I would think these brands would be like, okay, like we feel bad. And you, even though you didn't like renew your patent, we still feel like, you know, we should give you something for it. It's crazy, right? I was reading that story on Instagram. I was like, wait, what? And a lot of people in the comments were writing like, yeah, we heard about this. It's crazy. I was like, I did not know about this. Anybody? I don't know if it's because, yeah, she didn't believe in herself, but I don't know the reasoning why she did not renew her, um, her patent. I don't know if it's because she didn't have money or it's because she just felt like it wasn't going anywhere. So she kind of like, but it took a while before it took off. That's the thing is why I think it took a good like six, seven years before like people started like, well, a brand started creating, like building it and then consumers purchasing it. Thank you. Uh, te amo, Miguel. Do Vivi. Chat, we're gonna put this here. I don't wanna burn my leg. Uh, Ombligo, thank you. You are still looking at the cam. I was gonna call you Roberto. I don't know why I was gonna call you Roberto. Robert, uh, are you from the US? If so, are you from the West Coast or East Coast? Um, yeah, that's the thing I was talking about. Answer that as well. I think I answered everyone here. Oh yeah, another story I wanted to talk about. Um, Elliot, that was for you. You know what? I, there was a story that I read, which I thought was crazy. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. So there's this lady who got who got married to her husband during the celebrations when it came time to um, um, the cake ceremony. Yeah, it was during the time of the cake ceremony, basically. What happened is that she had told her husband that um, she had a bad experience when she was younger attending a birthday where her mom pushed her into a cake and accidentally, uh, I don't know, her something happened. She bruised her forehead or she cracked her forehead open. And she was like, I don't want you to do that to me. And during their wedding ceremony, during the cake ceremony, the husband like smashed some like smothered cake on her forehead and she walked out of the celebration. Isn't that insane? Imagine like celebrating all your guests are there. You just got married. You're going in and you're like literally into the cake ceremony, taking pictures and you walk away. She left. She basically left the ceremony, left her own wedding. Her husband was just there stranded. And then she went to stay at a friend's and then she filed for divorce. <laughs> I've had like seen nuptials that lasted 72 hours, but this is like the shortest of all. Like it didn't even last 10 hours. It was like during the ceremony of, it was like during her wedding that she left and she filed for divorce. And she just said that she experienced really bad trauma and that the reason was not just that, but it made her like, it made her realize that there was more red flags in her relationship and that she shouldn't have went ahead with a wedding in the first place. And so, yeah, I guess there was a like mixed opinion. Some people were like, that relationship was doomed from the beginning. That relationship was going to last. And the others were like, wow, like you took it too far. It was just like, you know, it was just, it's like a ceremony thing. It's, it's nothing serious. What are your thoughts on that? Um, Amando to bikini arasa muajo. Bejos. I think it's Bejos. I think so. Uh, I'm in the private room just for me and you. Wait, what? Today's weather. Masood, I, I think you asked me how the weather was. I said the weather is sunny. Tomorrow is sunny as well and Friday is sunny. So we're going to be streaming on the rooftop for the next three days. 
but uh, it's um, right now it's fine though, but it is, there is a breeze. So if you're not under the sun, it's chilly. I've never heard of someone traumatized by cake before. Um, Jet Munder, well, this was because her mom, when she was younger, had pushed her into a cake, like a birthday cake, and she cracked her forehead open. She ended up in the emergency room, cracked her head, forehead open, and she kind of like reiterated that to her husband that she didn't want that. She doesn't like it when people, you know, smudge cake all over her face because of that past experience. But I mean, I know, I feel like it was a little too dramatic, to be honest with you. Uh, every day to see you, missing you, want you. Shamal, you're from San Diego. I love San Diego, California. San Diego is so clean. Beautiful beaches, great for surfing, although I do not surf. Some great restaurants. Like It's like the clean version of Los Angeles. A little bit more on the quiet side as well. I haven't been in San Diego in like over a year and a half. Uh, today, water cool, but miss you. Jenaram Chudari, hi, you're also new to my channel. Thank you, Raheem. Uh, Dinesh, you're from India. It's like 11.45 p.m. I thought it would be later than that, actually. Um, uh, well, if you connected her trauma to her wedding day, then that's pretty bad. Wait, if you connected her trauma to her wedding day. So have you been to San Diego Wild Safari Park? Oh, my God. Wait, Sunny, I'll get back to you. Yes, I have been to the wild safari. I mean, the San Diego, it's the San Diego Zoo, right? That you're talking about? Because the San Diego Zoo is pretty famous. When I went to San Diego, I went to the zoo, but it was during the time that I had like, I twisted my ankle, so I couldn't really walk. I went with my sisters and I could barely visit the entire zoo because I couldn't walk properly. So like I was sitting down for the majority of the time. So I didn't really get to enjoy it as much as I would want to. Uh, but yeah, wait, if you compare, if you connect her trauma to her wedding, then that's pretty bad. Well, she was the one that connected her trauma to her wedding. She was just like a backlash of one, uh, something that had happened to her in the past that she had communicated to her husband. And he kind of went against her wishes and still did it. So she took it really personal and she walked out of the ceremony and left to her sister's house her friend's house and then she kind of filed for divorce right after i've seen like you know kim kardashian's wedding lasted 72 hours i would think at least the wedding would last at least 24 hours before you file for divorce that's like crazy uh and big beer how are you oh my god when i sit too long on my uh on my back on my legs it hurts Uh, Poyan, how are you? Tell me how tall you are. I don't know how to say how tall I am in Farsi, but I am five foot two. Hosas Barbosa. What? What? Is that what you meant, Matthew Hughes? Hello to you. Uh, I'm officially invited to San Diego. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my hair is going to start getting so much lighter because that's like a constantly under the sun. I'm trying to cover my legs though. Uh, her new husband didn't respect her wishes. She asked him not to do it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's like a very gray area because it's like, yeah, you went through trauma. It's like some, it's a pretty big deal for someone. But at the same time, to just walk away, I, I, some, you know, like the converse, like people have a different opinion. Some people are like, yeah, you know, it's like he did not respect her wishes. He did not listen to her. Like he shouldn't have done that. And then other people, it's like, you know, you should like, it was just all for fun. There was no bad intent behind it, you know, so she shouldn't have taken it that seriously. I guess it comes down to also your sense of humor. You know, some people are a little bit more mellow and easygoing and others are very like, you know, sensitive, I guess. So I guess she was like very sensitive in that nature. Um, but yeah. Eres la mujer perfecta, mi amor. Besos. Thank you. 
Roberto, no, no, no live yoga. Because then afterwards, people are not going to watch my videos that I actually post about yoga. So I'd rather do yogas like that than live yogas now. Cuerpaso. Que se cuerpaso? Ludek Viseli, how are you? Shouldn't put my phone under the sun. I'm on her side. If she made it clear and you don't respect her trauma, then what's next? Okay, so... You're on her side for that because you think that it's like something that you should really. I so see. I you know what you know the thing is she did not divorce him just for that. She like that was an alert for her. Like that was like a red flag in the sense that she was like, oh my god, like let me go back. And there has been instances where he didn't respect my wishes, or there has been instances where there was red flags, and I kind of just ignored it. And then that was like you know, the 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 the, the last a string that she was going to endure like that's why she fought like it wasn't just specifically for that reason that she filed for divorce but it just kind of opened her eyes to the entire relationship and she felt like it just wasn't going to work out but i just feel like what do you do with your guests you know everyone's there to celebrate love to celebrate you as a couple they took the time to get dressed and come all the preparation behind all of that and then it's like not even like two hours in the wedding, you're like, I'm out, I want a divorce. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the craziest thing? Like, is that someone's fear, like getting married and getting divorced within like a couple of hours of getting married? I don't know. Eres grandiosa. Usario, hello to you. Final nail on the coffin, so to speak. <laughs> Just go like, <"Psh." laughs> right? Yeah, that was like the last. Um, what's this? What's the saying? I've, why can I not remember the saying? That was like the last straw, I guess. Um, there, the San Diego Zoo and the San Diego Wild Safari Park. Oh yes, it's true. There's the San Diego. So I've been to the San Diego Zoo but I haven't been to the San Diego Wild Safari Park. Should I go? Well, now I have a viewer from there. I can't remember what his name is, but I think his name was Richard. He's from San Diego. Last straw that broke the camels. <laughs> King Fathead, hello, hello. Wait, King Fathead, were you on YouTube just not too long ago? Why is it that my, geez, I can barely read anything. What a beautiful day, seriously. The weather is really nice. Wild Safari Park is awesome. I will post a video on disc. Oh wait, you went? Uh, did you just, were you there over the weekend? Is that what you did? Or you've been a long time ago? Yeah, definitely post, definitely will watch. I'm going to reply back to some of you on Discord, but that platform is really for you guys to engage and share whatever it is that you enjoy or you're passionate about, your interests. So feel free to do whatever you want with Discord. Like, don't wait on me to write a little something. You can do whatever you want with that platform. Anthony, like, my family's from California, and so I spend the majority of my time in Los Angeles. Yeah, that's how I ended up in uh, California. California. <laughs> um, wait, Anthony, where are you from? Actually, I can't. I, no, I. I think. No, you're not. Are you from New York? I don't think you told me where you're from. <laughs> That's what I think about when you wrote that. What is so hard passionate about? All right, vinegar. I'm not passionate about vinegar, but vinegar is an essential for me. You know, like when they say, like, if you were to be, um, you know, stranded on a deserted island, what would you have with you? Actually, let's play this game. If you were stranded on a deserted island, what are three things that you would take with you? Chat, can you answer me that? Or, or let's let's reverse the question. If you were stranded on a deserted, if I was stranded on a deserted island, guess what are three things, like objects or whatnot, that I would take with me? Can you guess, based on my personality and based on what I've shared with you guys? You got to name all three right. If someone names all three right, then I'll do a 360. Um, 
Oh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, no, you never told me that you were from there, actually. Um, Sergio Zlatik, hello, hello to you. Uh, Daniel Hernandez, thank you. I'm having a great time now that you've joined too. Anyone chat? You don't show or... Uh, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I said, did you just join me from YouTube or are you a viewer from Kick originally? Starling phone and a chef. <laughs> uh, I mean, a chef would be a very good idea, but if you're just if you're stranded on a deserted island, like a chef can cook so much, you know, you got to improvise with whatever that you have. So no, but um, I would love to take Starling because then I get access to you know Wi-Fi. Uh, phone, yes, I was gonna say my PC, like a laptop or an iPad versus a phone. To be honest with you. And, and then, but the third, definitely not a chef. The, you got the third one wrong. <laughs> you got two right, though. Uh, vinegar, bikinis, and your cell phone. Definitely not bikini. Definitely not vinegar. Um, <laughs> there's going to be no one there. So even if I smell, no one can smell me. All four billion of them. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, how am I going to sleep, chap? That's like a hint. Hint, hint. How am I going to sleep? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, Sahara is obviously I'm going to take myself because I don't have a choice. It's like they're literally tossing me on a deserted island and they're like, you're going to live here for the next month. What would I take with me? I would definitely take my iPad. Like I, I would either take my laptop or iPad, to be honest with you. I don't know because I feel like a laptop's battery will last so much longer than a phone battery, right? But I would definitely take my water pillow. Hello. I told you guys I can't sleep on anything else but a water pillow. I'm like that. That's one thing that I can't give up. Like when I'm dating a guy, that's like the first request. It's like when I'm sleeping over at your house, you need to buy me this water pillow. So I just send them the link and they, have, they buy it so that I can sleep on it. Because it's not a joke. Like I have a very sensitive neck. And it hurts when I sleep on a regular pillow. So like I've been sleeping on water pillows forever. So I would definitely take my water pillow with me. <laughs> ah, Desert Island has no internet, but maybe we can hook internet with Starling. <laughs> Viewer from King didn't even know you had a YouTube. King, yes, I do. I'm multi-streaming right now on YouTube as well. I have some yoga videos on YouTube, King. I would appreciate if you can subscribe. It's free and you can chat with me live there as well. Hawk dude, thank you for joining me on YouTube. How are you? Happy Wednesday to you. Uh, Black Scorpion. One iPhone, two bet, three Elliot. Oh, I would take you with me? <laughs> yeah, no, one it would be, honestly, phone is fine of an answer. Two would definitely be my water pillow because I couldn't be able to live without it, especially like on a deserted island, you're going to be sleeping on the sand. So like a branch is really not going to be good for my neck. And I wouldn't take a mattress. I would actually take a friend, I guess. A third one would be like a friend because if you're there by yourself and if I can't take a human being with me, then I would take a knife for self-defense and also cutting things, right? Because we got to... You got to feed yourself, so you're going to have to, like, cut on, like, aloe veras and, like, coconut and climb trees and do all of that stuff. So I guess a knife would come in handy. You can be my water pillow. <laughs> um, wait, what would you guys take? Actually, serious, legit question. If you guys were to have to be, like, if you're stranded on a deserted island, what are three things that you would take with you? Answer honestly, I really want to know what you guys would take with you. Now that we've answered mine, nobody got it right. Sunny was close, though. Um, Starling needs power, so you need solar power to go with it. <laughs> well, I'm hoping, you know, I, I knew that Starling needed power. I, I'm definitely not a, like, you know, that's one thing. I never enjoyed camping, even when I was younger and my mom would take us camping. I was like, oh, my God, the bushes are up my butt. When I was trying to pee in the bushes, I was like, I need a shower. I don't like sleeping in a tent. 
I don't want bugs and spiders and flies and mosquito all around me. Like I just never enjoyed the experience of camping. Um, but if I'm going camping in a trailer, then that's a completely different experience, right? Cause like, it's like, you've got your mini trailer with your bedroom and your bathroom and like kitchen. And you know, it's so much easier to use than having to go pee in the bushes. Um, Roberto is so invested in this. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm invested. <laughs> Thank you, Roberto. Machete, lighter, and a truck. Wait, that's it? Well, actually, a truck is actually a good idea because then you can sleep in your car. So that's actually a very smart idea. I take mine back. I would say a truck, a phone, and my water pillow. Yeah, definitely. But then, like, you can't really turn on your truck because it's going to run out of gas. Uh, and a lighter, I wouldn't take a lighter because you can like, you know, friction through like uh, rocks or whatnot. You can like create fire uh, with things just lying around in the desert. Like you don't, I, I wouldn't want to waste something for a lighter. And for me personally, anyways. Um, ma ma what would you take? Magnifying glass to start fires. Uh, Rambo knife for survival. I, I said knife to Rambo knife for survival and construction of shelter. Woman for companionship. Well, that's four. A magnifying class, uh, Rambo knife, and then and construction of shelter, and then a uh, woman for championship. Oh no, that is two. Um, you're gonna have to eliminate one of them though. I don't know. Maybe a truck is a good idea because you can sleep in there. You can change in there. It's so much more comfortable sleeping like on a on a car seats than it is outside. Uh, Mo, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking me. How are you? Machida Bible in a truck. Really? That's what you would take? Interesting. Uh, what do you look for in a man? Daniel, I look for... <laughs> I was going to say something funny, but then I... I guess you guys would all take it seriously, so I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Um, what do I look for in a man? Personality, confidence, character, loyalty, respect, um, generosity. You gotta be generous or else you can't be my boyfriend, I'm sorry. Um, and what else? adventurous sense of humor you gotta make me laugh i love when my jaw gets numb <laughs> because of how much i'm laughing so just like having a good time i guess yeah full of surprises you hollywood move away she looks for the flippity flop in a man guys y'all can stop some <laughs> flippity flop is my boyfriend um if you can take a truck, then why not a ferry? <laughs> I guess because, um, yeah, no, it wouldn't work. Well, maybe actually, yeah, if you can take a truck, then why not a ferry? Uh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. But the thing is, I wouldn't want to be on water. That's the whole point. It's like if there's a storm, if there's something, and the, if you're like on a ferry and it's constantly doing this, then you get nauseous. At least in a truck, you're like grounded, you know? So I would definitely pick a truck over a ferry. Simple human, I haven't seen you on here in such a long time. How are you? I am Noon's boyfriend. I am the sugar baby. Spoil me already. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to travel back home. <laughs> I'm having a bomb moment. Uh, you know what? If I had a ferry, honestly, Sunny, I don't think if I was on my own, I would take that ferry to go back home. I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk it because I'm like, what if like by the time I like, you know, the ferry takes off from shore and maybe I have to be like in a boat for like 20 hours, then it's going to be nighttime in the dark. Then I'm going to be in the middle of the ocean stranded. What if there's sharks around me? What if the like fairy starts sinking like you know so many things can happen i don't know um i i don't like spending too much time in the middle of like the ocean or in the sea and so 
if I was with somebody else, then I would. But if I was alone, I would rather stay stranded there than take the risk of being eaten alive by sharks uh, or the ferry sinking. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Thank you. When I see you breathtaking beauty, I'm, exa I'm exhausted or you're excited. I think you meant you're excited is what you meant. Oh, my God. Did you guys see the bumblebees attacking my phone? Miguel, gracias por ser maravillosa. Sushanta, Sushanta, you wrote me hi earlier, actually. Um, thank you, Robert. I'm glad that you noticed my personality. Actually, that makes me happy. <laughs> Fairy has all the tech ocean trauma. Yeah, did I not tell you the story? Well, I mean, I did say the story, but I don't know if you were on. I have, you know, like I'm a good swimmer, like I've taken swimming classes, but I've always feel like the experience in a pool is very different than at the beach. So whenever I go to the beach, I, and you know how beaches are, it's not like you go from like, it doesn't go like, it's not like the surface is not like slowly going down into like deep end. It's like one minute the water is here and the next minute the water is there. Like it's like very, you know, the sand underneath the water is like very, it's not like a flat surface so i just don't like going to the beach and going far away in the water because i always am scared of like sharks or whatnot and recently there's been footage and videos of sharks coming literally to shore like in like literally in front of you i saw this this happened in florida i my sister sent me a video it was like scary i was like oh my god people were filming it but the shark was like literally chilling by the sand uh but I went to Turkey and we rented out a boat and I was like, film me, film me. I want to make a reel. I want to post it on Instagram. And so like I jumped in the water. I jumped really deep. So I went very deep in the water. I came out. I was fine. And then I started looking around and the boat, like the boat, because you know, when the engines turn off, it's like slowly because of like the motion of the ocean, it's still like drifting away from you. So the boat was like quite far from me and I look around and I started panicking. I know how to swim and I forgot how to swim. I was like literally screaming at the captain of the boat who didn't speak English. I was like, excuse me, sir, excuse me. And then like my friend was next to me. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. I need to get to like, I need to get to the boat. I literally started swimming so fast and I felt like I was just going to drown. It was like a really scary feeling. So yeah, I don't like being stranded in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like being in control. So like I like being able to like latch on to something. And when you're in the middle of the ocean, you can't really latch on to anything. And then I got out of the water and I went back in the water, but this time with my noodle, <laughs> like a baby. I literally put the noodle like under me like sitting on it like a horse <laughs> and i wouldn't let go of it i literally had it like under my shoulder like I, under my armpits like i just i was like holding on to it for dear life as if like that noodle was gonna save my life i've swam in the sea not on purpose though <laughs> for some, and not on purpose though wait what happened why did you wait is it because like you got into a fight with your girlfriend and she threw you off the boat um if you like it, it wait what is it if you like it you can make fun of me why would i make fun of you uh <laughs> this lingerie emphasizes the perfection it's not a lingerie you silly goose it's a bikini now come on uh lucky turks <laughs> if you like you can make fun of me. i already read that as well bye bonita besos from miguel bye miguel besos para ti right about now we're not doing anything we're not doing that me and my brother were riding on jet skis oh yeah i love riding on jet skis and let me tell you i like to be in control of the wheel when i'm riding on a jet ski i don't like to be in the back because i have been i was like out with my mom and her friends and he was the one driving the jet ski i was sitting behind him he was going so fast i was like literally screaming for him to stop so I like to be in control of that as well. I just don't like the idea of someone else going too fast for me. I crashed into him. We both went flying. <gasps> Thank God nothing happened to you. That's actually very dangerous. Oh, my God. <laughs> and did you have to, like, well, I mean, you swam back to your jet ski. Was it really far? 
I was hanging on by a noodle. I was hanging on by a thread. No, no, no joke, King Cat. I was literally like, you know how these noodles kids have them when they go swimming? I was like, this noodle was my life. It was, <laughs> it was, I would not let go of it the entire time I had it around me. And it feels silly because you're like, you can't drown when you know how to swim. But when you start panicking, you kind of lose focus and control of everything. And so like, it's really hard for you to even try to like stay above water is what's so scary. And I realized that when I was in the ocean and that happened to me. I was like, I don't know. Now I'm always going to have this fear. If ever I go like on a boat in the middle of the ocean, I'm going to go swimming. I will live stream it and I'll be like, Chad, I'm scared. I don't want to go in the water. Um... I think I answer that too. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it's co uh, correct in English. No, what you meant is, uh, you meant uh, bikini, not lingerie, is what you meant. Hello, Shamo. I went back to the jet ski by swimming, but jet ski people came pretty fast. We had life jackets on anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you went on with that. Yeah, when I went jet skiing, I didn't wear a life jacket. Maybe I should have, actually. But yeah, usually you do wear a life jacket when you go jet skiing. But that's scary, though. How fast were you going? How did you guys, like, bump into each other is what I don't understand. <laughs> Ecuador, hello. Think about, um, I wouldn't want to think about it. I know Noodle wouldn't do anything for me. <laughs> I mean, for me, in my mind, it did it did a lot. Mentally, anyways, it did a lot. So, yeah. Um, wait, I talked about the fidget spinner, but nobody really said anything about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Al Nasri team is currently in Iran. I thought that was crazy. Ronaldo is currently in Iran for a game, I think, and they had to cancel his training session because... Um, of the people of Iran that were like running after his uh, bus and they found out that he was there and they took over his hotel. It was insane. People were climbing the mountains to get to his hotel and they were like, everyone was like in the lobby screaming and shouting his name. Imagine being that famous. I don't even think people in Argentina do that for him. I thought that was like next level. I was like, poor guy. <laughs> He's not leaving his hotel room. Um... All Anirud saying hello. No need for yoga today. We can keep chatting. No, I was not planning on doing yoga. To whoever wrote a comment on my YouTube video, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thumbs up. Um, from one to ten, you are. Thank you. I admire the surname. Thank you. Chad, tell me more. Tell me what you guys have been up to the past few days. Do you guys have anything planned for the fall? Is anyone going away on vacation? Are you guys doing anything? Vacation time. Is anyone going away for Christmas? I might go away to Europe for Christmas. I personally don't like traveling during the holidays. Like during Christmas time, I'd rather like spend time like in California or in Canada, to be honest with you. I like going on vacation after the holidays when everything dies down and it's quiet and it's like less busy in terms of like traffic. But I might go away for to Europe. I don't want to talk about it. I know a noodle wouldn't do anything. Oh, I already read that as well. Fidget spinners. Oh, no. I used to sell and sell thousands of those things at Walmart. No, King. I was talking about fidget spinners because the woman who created and invented uh, this thing had a patent for it and she had to renew it after five years and she didn't. I don't know if it's because of like she didn't have enough money or she just didn't believe in herself or the product. And at the time there was not much traction around the fidget spinner. And then it took off, but it took off like where brand, it opened the door for companies and brands to create a fidget spinner because there was no longer a patent on it. And so she didn't make any money while all these big companies and corporations made millions from these fidget spinners. And I saw her story recently on Instagram, and I thought it was so sad. So that's why I have brought it up. Um, so to your point, you sold thousands of them at Walmart. Amidi, hello, hello. Um, 
Uh, you go where the sun is. Thank you. Ecuador. Now, come on. Uh, Joyanta. Thank you. Oof. It has like a nice breeze. How's the weather where you guys are at? Is it uh, cooling off? Is it nice today? It was raining here yesterday. It's expected to be sunny tomorrow and Friday. And every day that it's sunny makes me happy. Um, Francisco Jesus Juarez Escobedo. Hola, hermoso. Uh, como siempre, mandame saludos. Saludos para ti. Ecuador, apology accepted. Because <laughs> uh, I write and chat with one hand and I hold a tablet with one hand. It's okay. Thank you, Amity. It's pouring rain. Really, it's raining there. Isn't it depressing? Isn't it weird how like the weather affects your mood? Like when you wake up a day where it's like sunny, it just gives you life and energy. When you wake up and it's like cloudy, especially if it's like pissing rain, you're just like down and like lazy and sluggish and you don't feel like doing anything. Am I right? But I mean, you live in the UK. I don't know if you live in London, but like that's what it is in the UK. It's always like freaking... Uh, cloudy and raining it's a very similar weather actually to vancouver spent most of my time working i went on a birthday vacation in august Ooh, your birthday was in august planning another vacation in october where are you going amity can i get a subscription see how it feels like when you ask for something and nothing in return i want something in return as well Um, <laughs> from hot Kuwait was um, kisses from hot Kuwait was minus 45 degrees today wait I thought you were in San Diego you're in Kuwait yeah I mean Dubai and Kuwait right now is still really hot right like deadly hot where you got to walk around with a fan or just sit in a car with AC turned on because the weather is just like so warm you can't really I don't know like that that kind of temperature especially when it's like humid it's like you're suffocating. You can't really enjoy the outdoors. You have to wait till like things cool off. Like in Italy, it's the same, right? It's like during the day, people don't leave the house. And then starting like five o'clock, six o'clock, that's when people leave. And then restaurants open up at seven. So like things happen around there like much later than other places, I would say. Then, and I guess North America. Here on the scroll, it will... I have the courage to do anything I'm going to leave. <laughs> spinners didn't even sell. I can't say why. Just know there was a big... Wait, oh, fidget spinners didn't even sell. Wait, didn't you say you sold tons of those at Walmart? Can't say why. Just know they uh, was a big seller. Yeah, you meant fidget spinners did sell, right? They were a big seller. Uh, breaking throb. Where am I at? What is, where, where do I look like? Where does it look like I'm at? On a rooftop? Yeah. Weather is beautiful, so I can't complain. Thank you. something on my tongue. Oh, I don't want to swallow because then I'm going to gag. It's like always my hair gets stuck in my mouth. Sergio Lara, hello to you. 
Raheem, if I'm the type of girl that likes jewelry, you know what? I'm not crazy on jewelry. I just like like um, my love bracelet and like rings. I like like rings from time to time. I, I, I like necklace, something like very delicate and dainty is really what I like. I don't like too much jewelry. Flowers, I enjoy, yes. But um, I enjoy more going to a spa, going for like a massage, going for a facial more than um, more than flowers, I guess. But who doesn't like being surprised by fla with flowers? Like orchids, red roses, white roses. A bouquet of flower now and here and there is, I'll never say no to that. Thank you. NBA stuff hasn't football season started right elliot you watch football right it started uh flippity love you have a great night take care thank you for joining yes for good weather i hope you have bikini weather for another <laughs> ramble right that's what i'm saying i'm like the minute it gets cold like i'm gonna have to wear a jacket a sweater or sweatpants gonna get chilly i won't want to necessarily be in a bikini so you're a thousand percent right be on August. I was planning on vacation to Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, you want to go to Maryland? Wait, Leo is born in August? That I didn't know. Leo, August is Leo the sign? Uh, Roberto? No, I can't. Jason, I'm still live. Why did you ask me the question? Ugh. Ugh. I gotta stand up. Wait, doesn't it look like I'm live? Is that why you asked the question? Just stand up to like stretch. Break and Thrab, yes, I'm on YouTube. I always multi-stream, so I am, I am on both platforms. Uh, fan club, what's shaking with you? Wait, are you the same fan club with the digits in front of your name, but now you change your username? Are you the same person? And we haven't started yet. It has one more month before it starts. There was actually something going on with MB. There was an NBA festival, right? over the weekend or last weekend or something, I saw that. What is that festival about actually? Can everyone attend? Um, I never had digits. Oh, so then you're ne there's another viewer by the name of Fan Club, like 88, 90, something like that on my YouTube channel. So I thought you were him. So you're another guy with the name Fan Club, interesting. Aaron, is that Aaron? Yeah, you made it. How are you? Uh, World NBA. Do you stream on Twitch? Fan club? I was, I used to stream on Twitch. I'm currently banned, and so I haven't streamed on Twitch. I stream on YouTube and kick for now. Stay on YouTube though, but I will get my account back on Twitch in two weeks. So maybe I'll stream there like once a week. Yeah. Do you, like, do you like robot comments? You mean like bots comments or your comments? Because most of the time, Al Mario, you're having a conversation on your own. I'm from the East Coast, so it's not too far from me. Wait, where in the, you're in the US, right? East Coast in the US? Amity, thank you for the peaches and for the rainbows. Pat, is this high? I feel like half my head is missing. No, no sunbathing for you guys. <sighs> Chad, I did not sleep well yesterday. <laughs> I find myself not sleeping well the majority of the time. Did everyone have a good night's sleep yesterday? Uh, 
the back of your yes i do ramble i do that often unconsciously i don't realize that i'm doing it i guess it's like a tick of mine you know how like i usually play with my hair a lot i do the same with my i jiggle jiggle <laughs> flying kiss for you there you go so what is for dinner tonight daniel what is for breakfast lunch i haven't eaten anything speak for yourself we got to feed my tummy at first with a little something and i think i'm gonna have salad with salmon for lunch and then i think for dinner i might go out so we'll see but yeah uh I don't really know what that means. So that, thank you. I think I answered that too. Stage one, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Um, Santi, thank you. better like this it was too close i thought you did i was hoping to see <laughs> yeah hola mi amor ricardo ariel rivero i need a chair i need like something to lean on so i can do my stretch Ah. You need to visit East Coast. What are we talking about the East Coast where? US, America East Coast, I've been. Is that what you're referring to? Uh Where in the East Coast in the U.S.? New York? I've been to New York. Wait, is Dallas in the East Coast? I think it is, right? I've been to Dallas. Where else have I been? Where is Nashville? Is Nashville in the East Coast? <laughs> I'm really bad. Actually, Hog, dude, you're from Nashville, right? Is it in the East Coast? Um... Ramble, yes, I would love a massage. I want a massage. Uh, no, Dallas, in I know Dallas is in Texas, but I'm asking if it's in the East Coast or not. Uh, <laughs> those are all in the South. Tennessee, wait, is Nashville? Nashville is in the South as well. I'm terrible, I'm sorry. I stay up watching Netflix, watching Wolf of Wall Street, starring Leonardo. Oh, you're going to stay up watching Wolf? Is that is this the first time you're going to be watching Wolf of Wall Street? Leonardo DiCaprio is honestly an amazing actor. Like, he acts really good in his movies. But, if like, I never really thought he was really a hunk. Like, I'm not like, oh, he's so hot. Like, you know, he's just like, whatever to me. Am I the only one who thinks Leonardo DiCaprio is not like, He's not unattractive. I just, it's, he's not my type. Is, is he your type, chat? <laughs> oh, you're from Monroe, Louisiana. Myth South, no South. It's Myth South. Mark C, you, shine, you showed sign of life. How are you? So Nashville is Myth South, and then Texas is Myth South as well. I am always baby oil massaging in my dream. <laughs> Oh, good to know. I think I answered everyone here. Hola, muñeca. What does mu muñeca mean? Hassan, hello, Woodstock. Can I get a beer? Um, unfortunately, I don't have beer. I don't drink beer, but I actually enjoy beer. Like, I feel like beer tastes really good. Corona is really good, actually. 
Um, I can't get angry without you. I'm sorry. Are you sad, Roberto? What happened to last couple of days? Sunny, what, uh, why was I not streaming? Well, I was supposed to stream on Sunday, but then I ended up going out, so I didn't stream. And then uh, it was quite chilly, actually. And then Monday, it was nice, the weather, but I had an appointment in the afternoon at, like, 12. And so, like, it's I, I try to always stream consistently during the same time, so I kind of, like, skip Monday. And then yesterday, I went out, and then by the time I got home, it was, like, raining. And then I decided not to stream, and then I was like, you know what? I haven't streamed on a Wednesday in a very long time, so I guess this week I'm going to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and see how that goes. But yeah, that's why I was just like busy out and about, going out for lunch and dinner, appointments. I went to the farmer's market. I go to the farmer's market every weekend. I don't know. I love the farmer's market because it smells fresh, fresh blueberries, fresh strawberries, and I just love buying a few pieces and things there. So that's what I usually do on weekends. I go to the farmer's market, then I go... Uh, like working out to the, at the gym and then I just like run errands and spend the day out essentially that's what I usually do um great question to start what is your type you mean what do I look for in a guy what's my type of guy is that what you meant um I think I answered that too I watch a yoga stretching and it was amazing. It's great to watch rather that I'm stretching or not. It's great to watch rather I'm stretching or not. Well, thank you, Rambo, for going to watch that video. Of course, I've been to Florida. I've been to Miami and I've been to Florida. I love Miami and Florida. The thing is, the weather is really humid there during the summer. So it's like really, really humid, similar to weather here. Uh, but come september the weather is much nicer in florida than it is in los angeles maybe i'm gonna go and spend a couple of months in florida uh i don't know uh we'll see because i do have family there too um uh, hola princesa santi te hab tu hablos espanol uh hassan i don't give my whatsapp number to anyone and i don't have whatsapp moon in hello hello what do i look for in a man i literally someone just asked me the question jason you're not paying attention because someone had asked me the question like about 10 minutes ago what do you look for in a guy and i had said someone with a great personality who's confident who's giving who's generous who's social outgoing adventurous passionate great sense of humor very giving yeah, those are things that I look for in a guy. Um, Physical-wise, honestly, it really depends. Someone's personality could be, like, so fun that it outshines and I don't really necessarily care about the physical to a certain extent. Uh, but I like, generally speaking, physically men that are taller. Yeah, so, like, taller men, I would say. It doesn't really matter if you have a dad bod or not. Like, it's, I don't really care. You don't got to be all muscular. I don't really care for them. Those look like killer vines behind you. Uh, smooches, were you the one who was talking about that last time? You had a dream about vines or something? Nemsis, you can go watch and support my videos on YouTube. I did yoga on YouTube. You can go watch those. Watch those videos. Me quedo para siempre en ti canal. Um, en ti canal means to your channel. I think you meant you're new to my channel. Uh, yes, I will give you one. A lot of guys are like this right now. Sos muy linda. Escribo de Uruguay, hermoso bikini. V7 and my naughty queen. Uh. Jason, I answer your question. What do you think? Abu, you're new here. Hello, hello. No, I'm not. I'm Persian. I think I've like answered this question so many times. I'm gonna clean that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no beer. Champagne. Yeah, okay. I'll do a ching ching with you. Ching ching. I'll ching ching to champagne. I watch on YouTube. I just want to see live as well. Num says, what did you watch on YouTube? What was I wearing since you said that you watch? No cheating. Tell me right away. I'm pretty sure you did not. Nick 1224. Hello to you. Abu, I'm holding two phones because I'm multi-streaming. I'm streaming on YouTube as well. Uh, Hussein, I, you're laughing, not really sure why. How do I get to the next level with you? Next level of? You're always supporting me. You actually join my streams all the time, Elliot. So that's already a good sign right there. Oh, I want to like sit down. I want to stretch. I want to do something. Oh. Oh. I had another dream that you got attacked by plants. Moochies, really? How much does a man have to work for his personality to outshine his looks? Well, I don't. I mean, it comes naturally, I would say. I don't think it's like you got to work on it. It's like, I don't know. For me, it's like either I click or I don't. So like when I see you, it's either I'm into you or I friend zoned you within the first few seconds of meeting you. So yeah. Uh, it's not the same a yoga video and live in real time yoga video. Yeah, you're right. Because a live, then I talk while I'm doing yoga. Whereas where I'm filming, I'm not talking. I'm just doing a video and then I'm filming it and then that's it. I post it. Oh my God, how traumatic. I dripped water all over the wine and it like literally wrapped around my leg. Um, the real deal how about you write properly at first and then ask me the question again <laughs> and um dj's who's canad can you wear a bikini smaller than this oh that's why you're laughing Canad, you're actually new here if i could yes of course i could i could wear a micro bikini and that's even smaller than what i'm wearing right now there's always smaller options uh youtube is burning yeah, no, I, I mean, like, there's, I'm never opposed to the idea, but it's just really hard for me to get to just strictly know someone via stream, you know? I guess fancy fans would be the best way. Uh, what would my reaction be? Oh, oh, help me, help me. <laughs> That's what my reaction would be. <sighs> Oh, that was funny. <sighs> um, hey, we could actually go by the pool because there's like no one by the pool. There was a bunch of people earlier, but everyone left. But I kind of don't want to go in the water to begin with. Because the minute I get out of the water, it's going to be really cold. Um, I already showed you my reaction. No, I don't have a smaller bikini. This is all I got. If you want to gift me micro bikinis, I'll wear them for you. Alex, you're new here. Hello, hello. Chad, I guess that's it. I'm going to call it a day, to be honest with you. Um, I have something to do in 30 minutes. I just looked at the time. Time flew by so fast today. It's crazy. I feel like I've only been streaming for like 10 minutes. Pool sounds great, but uh, the weather is not so great. Like it's sunny, but it's windy. And I don't know if they, they said that we're going to heat the water for fall because it's like cold. So, um, but I don't think the water is heated today. And when I come out, it's going to be really cold. And so I don't want to go in the water for that reason. Yes, guys that make me laugh are attractive. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but I mean, looks do matter, but like not 
I mean, there needs to be some form of physical attraction as well. So it's like someone that makes me laugh via chat and someone that makes me laugh face to face is two separate things, though. Um, so chat, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna, did anyone write something here? No. I'm gonna call it a day. Alex, Jose, Aaron, Abu is new on my channel here. Sunny, Santi, King, Fat Hat, and everyone else on Kick. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. And if you are going to be watching this later on on YouTube, um, or if you're watching this live, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I actually pinned my socials above this chat box, so make sure to click the link. Um, to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, it is free. Um, can I, if you click, I literally just said, if you click the link <laughs> uh, that I pinned my link tree, you'll be able to see all I froze. Sorry, I froze. I got an incoming call. I froze. Someone's going to come pick me up soon. So uh, I literally got the call. Jason, Ramble, Roberto, Hog Dude, Kenneth, Elliot, my love, Simple Human. Who else was on here? DJ. You were on here. DJs. And uh, there was a bunch of other people. Omar, Woodstock, everybody else that joined me on YouTube. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hopefully my video turned out good so I could post it maybe later tomorrow. But I will be streaming tomorrow, same time, same place. Make sure to join. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Did anyone write something? Oh, no. That was... And bye, champ.